While you are listening to this recording, your willing attention is helping you to become more and more deeply relaxed. Welcome to another episode of Soap Opera. With Polly, Judd, Gina, Patrick, Rosie, Mike, and Deandra. Deandra, distraught over her betrayal by Mike, has gone into hiding. You have to come out sometime. I can't face them. Everyone knows that Mike's been sliding in and out of every dish in town. You knew he had a slimy past when you married him. I thought he'd change, but you'll never be in luxury good. It'll always be a common novelty item. Now come out of there. My God, you've wasted away. A mere sliver of the woman I once was. Baby, I was wrong. Take me back. You've got a lot of nerve. You're just here to sponge off of her. Don't work yourself into a lather, sister. Hey, doll, I'm in a little trouble with the boss. Mr. Uh, Bubble? Yeah, they're going to break my cord if I don't pay up soon. What do you say? Deandra, don't trust him. <laughs> then I might as well kiss this world goodbye. Wait. Should Deandra trust Mike or wash her hands of the entire affair? Tune in tomorrow. Hello? I'm a baby dragon. I'm a little bird. Would you like to sing with me? Sure. X. He's got a swank place in the church basement, but he made an indecent proposal, so I taught the place. What do you want? Get out of here or I'll call the Go police. Go ahead, call him. Going on a trip, huh? Yes. Going away for the weekend. Sailing for Buenos Aires tomorrow, some weekend. I'll send you a postcard. Now get out of here. Who are you going with, George Reynolds? I've heard of him. I suppose you've never heard of Eugene Phillips either. Just who are you? What do you want? Never mind who I am. Where's Reynolds? If you think you can scare me, you're crazy. Look, I know that Phillips came here yesterday. And right after he left, he was pushed out of a six-story window. Pushed? Phillips committed suicide. Your playmate Reynolds murdered Phillips. And then he went up to San Francisco to get me. Because I knew about a certain bill of sale. I don't know what you're talking about. You're in this right up to your pretty little neck. Get your hands up. Give me your wallet. Frank, big a little. Charlie. Like... All right, now where's Reynolds? I don't know. I don't know where he is. Yeah? Who's paying for this trip? I am. The first class trip to Buenos Aires on a model salary. Don't make me laugh. If I were a man, I'd punch your dirty face in. Stephen King novels. People just love to be scared. I do. Don't you?
But how scary is too scary? We thought it might be funny to find out. Now, what could be more scary than a roller coaster, right? <laughs> but this is no ordinary coaster. Let's watch and see. So far, nothing unusual, right? <laughs> but watch that first drop. It's a doozy. That's right. Our unsuspecting riders are going straight to hell. <laughs> you should always read those warning signs. Now, that was scary. But too scary? <laughs> Don't count on it. It just goes to show people are stupid. While you are listening to this recording, your willing attention is helping you to become more and more deeply relaxed, so that the words and the ideas on this recording are sinking deeply into your mind, where they are becoming a part of your personality. Welcome to Miss Lydia Makeover to the Stars. Today we have Sly Baby, all American writer, director, actor, warrior, artist, short guy. He is a looking good, but he could be looking better. Such a thrusting, punching, projectile, launching, fast driving, arm wrestling kind of a guy. Perhaps we are trying to compensate for some short going. Well, I have just the historical looks for the little warrior god. Whiskey, wait a minute. This is our rainbow on point while we buy American first guy. He's a gosh darn symbol. Yes, a symbol of American way. But he's a darn short symbol. So, let's kill two birds with one bush and bring Slambo together with some symbols of the US of A, while at the same time giving this tiny little guy some of the much needed heightness on his head. And what's the slip here? Many of you may not be aware of the other side of our little Slambo, our red, white, and blue GI slide guy. Well, he's a sensitive, fine artist. He is a proud painter guy. Oh, sensitive. Oh, there is that short thing again. Let's review. That's all for today. This is Miss Lydia saying bye-bye. And remember, the better you look, the more you'll see. Shankman Institute for Video Analysis. Dr. Otto Shankman. This woman has become fixated in early childhood. Her alter ego, a young girl, sublimates her burgeoning sexual impulses with playful ball handling. Are you suggesting that this little girl is not as innocent as she appears? Innocent? Had these boys chosen to include her in their game, she would have brought new meaning to the term physical education. MTV, a bold torpedo barreling into the murky depths of rock and roll. Killer game from Nintendo. Dr. Mario. Wow. But it ain't what you think. You get to zap these viruses. And with two players, you can actually trash the other guy. Remember, kids, try this at home. Hey, you can get it for Game Boy, too. Here we go. The outdoors. The sun bites. Oh, bugs bite. All the great outdoors bite. Hey, hey. Only one root beer has bite. Barks root beer. That bite, it really bites. Crisp, cold, straight ahead. Barks will have you thinking differently about root beer. Hey, Barks has bite. Well, you ready to head back? What? Let's go. Barks root beer, the one with bite. Now, for a limited time only, get a free cassette tape from Barks with all these heavy metal bands. Send three barcodes from the 2 liter or 12 pack of Barks root beer to Barks Metal Bites Cassette. P.O. Box 158, Malibu, California, 90265. You 
killed the wrong man. Murder. <laughs> pair of human eyes. Gravel, the clock is in my possession. Shall we negotiate a price? Good. You'll see me at midnight. Excellent. It won't be long now, my pet. Okay, sister. The man you shot was an international assassin himself. But what I want to know is why. I hired him to kill the creep who murdered my brother. But I got in over my head. I found myself being pulled into a web of intrigue, some sort of evil conspiracy. I had to get away. Okay. You may be of some help to us, miss. Call me Lila. Ah, the postman is coming. Admit him, my dear. Gosh, Mr. Z, you were right. It's a package for you. Is it important? It's a message from a dead man. Ah, welcome, Spot. You have the clock? Yes, and I'm glad to be rid of the curse of things. Now, my reward. Ah, yeah. Otto. <laughs> Dear Mum, destroyed the oil rig as per the assignment and nab the poisonous fruits. Rewarded myself with a nutritious snack. Boy, am I putting on weight. to this recording, your willing attention is helping you to become more and more deeply relaxed, so that the words and the ideas on this recording are sinking deeply into your mind, where they are becoming a part of your personality, helping you to feel the way you want to feel, and to become the kind of person you want to be, and especially to become a fine bowler. You love to bowl.
If you're feeling a little unpopular because of a wart, try America's number one wart remedy, Compound W. It hates warts more than you do. Begotten city night. Who can triumph above the sweaty despair and horror, the living death that runs rampant throughout the hellish streets? Who else but the art school girls of doom? Our last two ice cubes. Sorry. <sighs> There's got to be a better way. Oh my God, we could hop on the train and go to my parents' house at the beach for the weekend. Go to the beach? What a concept! And so our heroines bravely leave their beloved but inferno-like metropolis. But what bold adventures await them in the land of fun and, yes, sun. Oh my God! Where is all that light coming from? I think it's the sun, actually. Either that or an H-bomb. It's so rude. And look at these people. Oh, entire families. Oh, children. It's all so realistic. Let's just sit here. We'll just keep some of these dead fish out of the way. What are those condoms and syringes lying around for? I think somebody was having a party. But what are those people doing with that dead elephant over there? I think it's a whale, actually. How exciting. Got any lotion, huh? Here, gob this on any exposed areas. Fabulous. Now what do we do? We just sit back and space. I can do that, girl. Hi, girl. What's up? Yeah, getting like a bra on this time. <laughs> oh, my God. Real surf dudes. Yeah, totally. Hey, uh, you girls are like seriously not into catching some rays, are you? The sun's rays are lethal. Nah, really? Really? Our entire families were wiped out by skin cancer just last week. Seriously? Like, all at once? Like that. Wow. Mike, you guys want to toss a frisbee with us? Oh, we just couldn't. We're too bummed. Oh. Dude, conference call on line one now. Hey. Come on here, dude. Let's rewind the video tape. I mean, it's like their whole like, families were like just wiped out last week, dude. Dude. They need to do the grieving thing. Hello. Hey. I know you girls probably just want to chill alone now. That's cool. But remember, your families are like all part of the cosmos now. And they're probably cool. If their karmas are cool. Profound, dude. Fabulous. Later, babes. Later. Onward, grasshopper. Sad. Strange lands and strange beings. Stay tuned for the further bizarre and frightening adventures of the art school girls of doom.
dear mum went to the rendezvous with Andre. No one showed. But outside, his operatives attacked me with laser-guided loaves of French bread. Nurse gave me something for the pain and recommended a remarkable chiropractor. You love to bowl. You love to bowl. Later on tonight on 120 Minutes, Dave Kendall is in Paris with the winner of the Naked Power Grab Contest to check out a live performance by the Inspiral Carpets. That's at midnight, 11 Central. I know you don't want to miss it, but next, stay tuned for the MTV Top 20 Video Countdown.